gentlemen, inductee Oscar Floyd, Jackie Morton. Oscar Floyd, Jackie Morton was born December 4th, 1909 in Sardis, Alabama, the ninth of 11 children. He was called Jackie after his father, Henry Jackson Morgan, mayor of Albertville from 1915-1916. Henry and his wife, Ada Jane Smith Morgan, came to Sand Mountain in a covered wagon before 1900 from Coweta County, Georgia, moved to Albertville in 1914, and purchased and operated a cotton gin and sawmill. This photo shows brothers left to right, Jackie, Clifford, and Jesse, in about 1958. Jackie and his younger brother, Jesse, who was inducted into the Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame in 2002, learned about hard work as youngsters in their father's Albertville businesses. This helped the brothers to become two of the most ferocious linemen in Aggie history. Jackie played left tackle for the 7th District Agricultural School, SDAS, later named Albertville High School during 1927, 1928, and the 1929 seasons, and Jesse played guard in 1929, 1930, 1931, and 1932. Jackie and Jesse were known to many as the Fearsome Morgan Brothers when they played together on the 1929 squad. The top row of this photo of the 1929 team shows Principal J.J. Benford on the left, Coach Hoyt Levy on the left, and the two Morgan Brothers, Jackie, fourth from the left, and Jesse, fifth from the left. In his book, Out of the Sand, T.J. Carnes stated, the 1929 season was perfect except for a 7 nothing loss to Gadsden. For some reason, that game was the fifth game in two and a half weeks played by the Aggies. Jackie played only a few minutes, and some starters did not start. The team was beat up before the whistle even blew. This team photo includes five Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame inductees. Three of the five Garrett brothers, Gordon, back row, fourth from the right, Russell, Miller row, fourth from the left, and Norman, fifth from the right. Also, the two Morgan brothers, Jesse, bottom row, second from the left, and Jackie, middle row, first on the left. In writing about the 11 members of the all-time Aggie football team revealed by the Sand Mountain Reporter in 1969, Hall of Fame sports writer Hal Hayes wrote, Only the immortal Morgan is from the pre-World War II era. Morgan was the first Aggie to stand for two years in the spotlight of all state. Team listings of 1927 and 1928 carried the name of this Timberwolf tough athlete among its honorees. This year, Jackie and fellow all-time Aggie team member Joe Teddy Roberts joined seven other members of that fabled 11-member team that have been inducted into the Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame. Concerning the 5'9", 220-pound tackle, the AHS annual stated, Jackie was just a big, fat boy for all opponents this year at the beginning of the game. But when the game began, he was a holy terror to all who opposed him. Following graduation, Jackie was offered 13 scholarships and accepted the one to the University of Alabama. However, he only played one year, leaving to help one of his brothers in Georgia with his business due to the Great Depression. After his father died in 1934, Jackie took over the Morgan Gin Company, which was one of Albertville's primary businesses for many years. In 1935, Jackie married Ruth Alexander. In 1944, at age 35, and with three children, Jackie enlisted in the U.S. Army. At that age, he had to work hard to lose weight and get in shape, Jackie did just that in order to serve his country. Jackie left Count Shelby in Mississippi and was stationed in Okinawa on August 6, 1945, experiencing fallout when the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. Jackie enjoyed visiting with his old schoolmates and teammates, shown in this photo, which shows Jesse and Jackie third and fourth from the right on the top row. Others shown in this photo include Mr. Pinford, D. Isbell, Dan Dendy, James Offord, Sheriff L.P. Dixon, John Aubrey Thomas, and Hall of Fame inductee Thomas Scoop Howard. Jackie died in 1973 after a long battle of cancer. He will long be remembered not only for his prowess on the football field, but for his service to his country in World War II, to the First Baptist Church of Albertville, and as a city council member. Also for his support of the Albertville football program and for his generosity to those with whom he worked. After Jackie's death, a folder was found in the back of his desk containing IOUs from those unable to pay their ginning bills. He believed that if a man could not pay without having to sacrifice for his family, the debt was forgiven. The family destroyed that folder in honor of Jackie's unselfish generosity to his fellow man. Jackie and Ruth reared four children in Albertville, Martha, 
Stewart and James, who now live in Albertville, Jacqueline, who lives in Arkansas, and Oscar, who resides in California. He is remembered by his family as a beloved husband, father, and grandfather. He would be happy to know that his great-grandson, Bennett Morgan, now carries the Morgan name and the name that he so loved, even though it is for the rival of Boaz Pirates. Class of 2011 inductee Oscar Floyd, Jackie Morgan.